Wanting to film all of the homesick process came from regretting not really filming Keep It Bright. Would y'all ever like switch up your sound as y'all grow? I mean, that's always the goal. I'd like to think every every project we release has been an evolution. If y'all disagree, that kind of sucks, but we're trying our best to do that. And so like a lot of like the starts of an, the next project is like making a bunch of songs that sound completely different and like tr so that it just pushes us to try new shit. And then we like learn little new tricks and stuff and new sounds. It's probably the album cover for Homesick. That was an art piece that had already been released um, by an artist named Mariano Penichetti. Um, and we just loved his art. He's all like on Instagram. He posts all of his art. And so we found that account and then we contacted him about using that. That's the only like non poem FOMO piece of art we've ever used. But we thought it w w made a lot of sense to do it. Do you have any advice for upcoming artists? Do it for yourself, like just make music, make art. Don't expect people to like it. Don't expect to get any attention from it. You gotta be happy about it yourself. And then it'll come, everything that's happened, like it, it'll happen naturally, don't force it. It should be about loving the art more than like wanting to be success, wanting to be famous or some shit, you know? All right, sorry, I'm behind on these questions. Seeing all bounce lyrics off of each other was cheer as fuck. Yeah, we do that. We've done that since the beginning. Like, I remember Trumpet Boy days when we were making Trumpet Boy. I was helping Sawyer write this part for Trumpet Boy, and then HP was like, y'all should do it back and forth. Like, we were basically writing it back and forth, and HP was like, y'all should do it back and forth. So the end of Trumpet Boy went Sawyer and I go back and forth. That was HP's idea, and that just came off writing bouncing lyrics off of each other. Do you have any advice for me? Because I want to do music, but I don't know how to start. Write really, really shitty songs at first. Just do it. Just write. Um, and share it with people, too. And hopefully you have some people around you that could tell you what to do better. Because that, that pushed me. One, like, I was kind of... I plateaued for a while, like, as a songwriter. Songwriter until I met like Sawyer and shit and I was able to like be told that certain things were bad or certain things were good because you know I love my parents but they I would always share them songs they wouldn't give me criticism you know so you need those people that are going to build you up you need people that are better than you is it like the best questions online that I've ever gotten this far. Let me, let me catch up. All right. Jim, my favorite song. I just need to know who wrote that one. Keep It Bright was interesting because... Sorry, I'm trying to plug in my shit. Keep It Bright was interesting because a lot of Keep It Bright was, like... A lot of Keep It Bright was written, like, individual, like, very separate from each other. So, like, J Jane was written by just Sawyer and H.W. Like, they were pretty much the only people to work on it. Um, and that happened with some other songs, you know, a lot, of, like, Lawn. I mean, it depends, but, like, Homesick, we wanted to come back to this idea of, like, all five of us should be in the studio together as much as possible. And that's true. All five of us produce every song. And that was the, that's the first time that's happened. Um, the other projects like it was very much divided there were certain songs that only one or few two people would work on Amazing how young you guys are and so focused on your music and dedicated. Thank you. Appreciate you. Y'all have any other questions about like any songs and shit? I'm curious to if you guys have keep it bright questions because we never really address like the making of it, like through a documentary or anything like that.
So I'm curious if y'all have questions of anything. I like this. I like this conversation that we're having together. <laughs> You guys choose the names of the albums based on their concepts. Great question. Tremble Boy was named after the song Tremble Boy. That was pretty simple. Tremble Boy, we went through such... Tremble Boy could have come out two months before it did, and it came out later because we couldn't think of a title for the album, which was ridiculous. Like That was like we had finished the album, and we couldn't come up with a title. And so we just ended up going with that. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, Keep It Bright came from, uh, it went with the theme of the album, but also it came from a lyric from uh, one of the first songs that we did, Song of the Summer, I have a line that's like, uh, I just say, I say Keep It Bright in the song. And so it came from that. Um, and then Homesick came from a song as well that didn't make the cut. And it just felt so perfect for like our theme, our story for the album. Did HP write his verse for 10 speed or who made that? 100% all him. HP. He does a lot of writing, actually. I mean, like, he helps out a lot. Like, when you talk about, like, us going and bouncing lyrics off each other, I'm always bouncing shit off him. Sawyer and him are always writing together. Inspiration for Keep It Bright. It was all about summer. We were, so, like, when we really started getting into it, we were listening to, like, I was listening at least to a lot of indie music, like, forget the names, like a lot of random shit, a lot of indie stuff, just like, when I started getting it, like, Steve Lacey, we were listening to a lot of, it's just all about summer. I would love to make another summer album. Are there any songs on any of the LD albums that were super personal to the point where y'all were hesitant about sharing them? Um, subtly, like, there are certain lyrics that we've all, like, been hesitant about, but that's something, like, that we try to encourage. Um, there's this, inter not to be corny, but this, this rapper, Logic, he did an interview, and he said, like, he was talking about his album, Everybody, um, around the time it came out, and he was saying, like, how scared he was to put it out, because there were so many things on there that he was scared to say publicly. And so, like, that, su that was super inspiring to me. Cause I, and then I told the boys, like, we should be scared before every release just because we should be taking risks. And it doesn't have to be uh, necessarily lyrically. It's just, like, let's put shit out that, that pushes boundaries that we're not sure that people are going to like, you know. So we we got to continue to push that. I think we haven't even scratched the surface of that fear, that risk-taking. How long did it take y'all to write Keep It Bright? Um, the core of it went on for like two months. Um, I mean, it started slowly, but a lot of it was April and May. Yeah, of last year. Who decided to use the picture of you for the cover? I found, we were, like, we were all looking through a bunch of old summer photos that we had, and I found that photo. And then I just, I made the cover. Like, I zoomed in and saturated it. It was pretty simple. <laughs> Favorite song off Keep It Bright. Uh, I love Lawn so much. How do you come up with the concept for the Lawn video? The Lawn music video was inspired by um, definitely like the saturation videos and also um, this Blood Orange video for his song Jewelry. What did the FCC choice to make Lighter Time one song? I we I made lighter, or like I st I started lighter. We developed it into the song that it is, and then I and then me and H W developed a rough version of time. We sent it to the group, and he was like, "It sounds a lot like lighter. Let's just make it the same song though, because I like it." So then we put them together. I just had a flex. <laughs> not his dog's name after him. <laughs> That's fire. Drums and guitar for push pop. I couldn't tell you. Sorry. I'm assuming the guitar was sore. Honestly, it's probably sore. <laughs> Do you prefer writing and recording songs or singing live in concerts? I prefer recording so much. But I love love live shows are so fun too. 
but recording is more fun to me. Gonna name my kid Keep <laughs> right. Alright, there's a lot of fucking questions. <laughs> Push was for the blacks. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Oh my god. You guys should sell the LD Metro Card sticker. We're not allowed to anymore, and I won't get into that. <laughs> Make a rap album. Probably won't do that, because we're not rappers. Mm. Any more merch? We're going to sell merch on our tour in August. You should come. Sunny Boy's Lament. Um, Sunny Boy's Lament started with a beat that E Time made. Played it for us, and then it just started. It must have started with the chorus. And it just built off of there. We worked on that song for a while because that song has a lot of different parts to it. We definitely, out of all the Keep It Right songs, we definitely spent the most time on that and like a few others, but like that was one of the top ones. What's next for Laundry Day? Great question. Um, we're going on tour in August. That's really the big thing that that's coming up, and hopefully that'll kind of levitate us a little bit. We we can only hope. I love this question. Do you guys plan out the music videos more now? Like, put real thought into them. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I can break it down for you. Martha's we have what videos? Have? Martha's Vineyard, Flowers, Lawn, Shaw, Harvard, and Red Roses. Six videos. Martha's completely not planned out. That was like spur of the moment. Let's make a video today because we didn't have a video. And so we were like, let's do something. It was like after school on a Friday. And so what we did, all we had planned is we went to the Crocs store and we all got Crocs. And that was for, that was actually, we got the Crocs for the show that we had the next day. Um, this was in June of last year. And then we, we all went to Henry's neighborhood where we filmed like almost every video, or at least part of almost every video. Um, and we just walked around and f shot the Martha's video like in one day, in like the span of two hours maybe. And then it was done. And that, that shit was so quick. But we just wanted to make a video. Like, we knew we, we needed a video. And then Flowers and Lawn. Flowers was so planned out. Like, I, I had, like, a shot list for it. Every little lyric was planned out to the shot. So we knew exactly what we had to get. Um, so that was super... Like, I spent, like, at least, like, a month, a month working that out. Um, and then Lawn, like, we had the basic concept for it. But a lot of like the shots, at least the like the black and white part, um, those were uh, like random. Like we were just like we went to the park and shot a bunch of shit, and then I just edited it together. What I felt flowed well. But then the the end the end part is super planned out. Like we knew we were gonna go there. We had the pink masks, all black, and then we like when we got to that house. We like we planned out the shot, and then we shot that shit a bunch of times. That was super choreographed. All right, then, sorry, Cha was almost, honestly, surprisingly, almost as loose as the Martha's video, because, like, we, the only big goal we had was, this is going to be the first video that we do, I want it to feel so different and, like, blow people away just by, like, a new era, and also just celebrate New York City, because we, we, we were, because we knew we had the Metro card thing, we knew we wanted to tease that as well, so we wanted it to be all about New York. And so we just like came up with a list of a bunch of spots that we wanted to go to, and then we filmed different parts based on that. But like something, like the gym, that was comp like we had no idea that that was gonna happen. We were at Henry's house, like waiting to go to the next spot, and then Henry's dad was like, "Yeah, you can go to this gym in my uh, office building, or like in the building I work in." And we were like, "What?" And so that was so random. Um, Sorry, I'm, this is long, but I'm just, I like going through these videos. I like talking about them. Um, what was it? Harvard. 
all we had, like we knew we wanted to do the bouncy house and then we ended up, like when we got to the bouncy house when we had it set up, we ended up staging it and like then we just did a bunch of takes of that. So that was sort of, it was a pretty simple video if you think about it. So not really that planned out just because there wasn't much to plan. Um, and then Red Roses was as planned out as uh, the Flowers video. Like I had this whole shot list and then we knew where we wanted to be, what we wanted to do. So to answer your question, they've always been kind of fluctuating in how far out there. Sorry, that was long, but I hope y'all this is interesting. Uh, um, all right, now I'm reading more questions. Brighter than black. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, what does it have the most thought? How do you guys decide when you want to go on so when you go on tour? I mean, we we knew we wanted to do a spring tour. We got a booking agent, and then we just tried to get shows together. And we were originally going to go out for, like, we were going to miss some school, I think. We were going to go out for, like, two weeks straight. And then we decided that it would be a better investment to do it on the weekend so that we could always play, or hopefully always play on, like, a, a Friday or Saturday. We had a few Sundays. But, like, we wanted to do that. We thought it would be a better investment to, like, get the amount of people out. You know, because if we played a certain market on a Tuesday in the middle of the spring, like, nobody would have come. So, but yeah, we just knew it was time to go out to these cities. We knew that y'all were out there. And then summer, I was like, yeah, there's still more places to hit. Let's go in August. Um... I love how all your music videos just have random drumming scenes. Yeah, that's like a, honestly, that's like a signature at this point. Some random jumping shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I think every, every video has some sort of, like, craziness like that. <laughs> uh, my boy on his delay fight. What's good? Thoughts on Go For It, Bud Remix? <laughs> um, I think it's cool. We, honestly, we just put that out because we felt like we needed to keep people excited during the summer, which was kind of like silly to think. Like we, we, that whole year was just about like let's put out more music so we get more fans, and so like our philosophy on that has changed a lot. You know, we thought we needed to put out more and more new content so that we could get more people, as opposed to like pushing. Like we could have pushed Trumpet Boy for a year and then Light Up Shoes and Keep It Bright would have never existed, which would be sad, but just would have been a different story there are other reasons to why we kept making music that year but that was one of them and I've talked about the other reason before uh, how the fuck y'all got so much freedom in New York City I, I can't explain it we're just blessed New York City is amazing being a kid here is amazing Which video are you most proud of? It's tough. I mean, the first thing that came to my head was Red Roses. Before that, it was probably Flowers, though. I, I like Flowers is so random, but all those ideas that we came up with, like, we just executed them exactly how we pictured it. Like, the idea about, like, when Sora comes onto the shirt, that's, like, still one of the greatest things we've done, in my opinion. When he comes onto the shirt wearing the shirt that he's on, it's so sick. It's so fucking sick. And like the shit with the wiggles like in the fucking bolt like it's so random but we like I love when we come up with random shit and then it get we pull it off like me jumping into the pool in the Red Roses video like that's just a vision I had like way before the song was even done like I was like let's do a video for this song I need to be wearing a tux and jump into a pool that was just like and then it happens it's just magical honestly <laughs> Uh, 
What people do you draw inspiration from that aren't musicians? That's a great question. My parents. Um, who else? That aren't musicians, Jim Henson. I'm reading a Jim Henson book right now. More like so inspired, most inspiring book I've read. Uh, just the company Pixar. <laughs> it's one of my biggest inspirations. Is the new tour going to be like the one you just finished? No, no, no. We're going to spice it up. We've been coming up with ideas. I won't say much, but we're going to make it different. Obviously, we are keeping in mind that we're going to all new cities, though, so that's important to note if you're going to come to a show and you you already went to the Together Forever tour. There will be certain similarities, but we're also going to spice it up. And it's honestly for ourselves, too. Like, we got bored of the outfits towards the end. Um and like or to certain other elements so it'll be different oh yeah that answers your question different outfits for the new tour 100 percent. i'm excited actually the outfits are so Lashes popping, thank you. <laughs> June died at the end of Toy Story 4, that's my one. <laughs> the stickers for flowers are the best, thank you. That's another idea that I just thought of. We were like, okay, we're gonna do a flowers video, and I thought of this idea of just me wearing stickers with like saying like congratulations and all that shit like all over my face. And then it happened. We did it. Clara's new song is dope. I love that it's very different from Bags. I love that it's super different for her. Um, I heard it before it came out, and I remember just being very struck by it. And it's, I hope other people were struck by it upon their first listen as well. It was a bold move. I respect it. Because it's, it's a different song. It's kind of weird. How do you guys choose the fits for the Homesick Tour? Um, Together Forever Tour, we did... Uh, we saw the like we saw a variation of the pants that we wore like on Instagram, and then we like came up with more elaborate ideas based on those pants. Like we were gonna do like a whole jumpsuit or like a vest, like shit like that, and then we just ended up going with the pants and the white shirt. Kept it simple, <laughs> and those pants are like online. You can just buy them. Uh, how do you guys find JJ? JJ found you guys. This is a longer story, but JJ and HW met. At uh, when the LD Clara collab coming oh. on it. Um, are you guys into fashion? Yeah, I mean, not like high fashion, but like I, I, I care about what I wear, sort of. Yeah, I care about what I wear. I care about what I wear. So I'm into fashion in that way. Red Hearts, Jagged, and us new shit is so fire. So inspiring. It kind of feels like it could be LD stuff, which is cool. Like, obviously, I know he didn't copy us, but, like, it feels like something we can make, which is super inspiring to, like, kind of hear that. That didn't make sense, but whatever. Do you guys decide if you'll be selling hoodies on tour? Call back to another lot. Yes, we do. we're selling a hoodie. Love your birthday fit. Appreciate it. Any book suggestions? It depends on what you're looking for. Um, this is the books that I've been I've been reading biographies this year. I mean, when I say biographies, I mean I've read two so far this whole year, um, and I'm reading another one right now. And like, I just like reading about creative people. When that Q&A coming out, I don't know what you're talking about. Outside of producing and touring, etc., how do you, how often does LD hang out? Honestly, 
like almost every time we hang out we're recording because <laughs> it's just what we like to do together and it's like not it doesn't feel like work like it's just fun um um but like yeah we're always recording any updates on that total access pass interview i don't know what that is sorry maddie needs you jude <laughs> Oh, she means you tweeted asking for questions, right? Sorry, I forgot about that. That, that honestly, thank you for reminding me about that. HW and I will figure that out soon. <laughs> <laughs> we did something with them, but we have to figure out what to do with it. That's so fucking funny. Thanks, Ashley, for reminding me about that. Uh, how long have you guys known each other? Like two years. Three years? Three years, three years. How do you get in a total access pass? I don't remember what that is. Sorry. Total access. What the fuck is that? I can't remember. What's good, fam? Yeah, well, I don't. Maybe I wasn't there. Honestly, it's possible. It was a phone interview. Yeah, I might not have been on it. We've done a. We did a few interviews where like, it was only a few people. Like I did one with only Henry. Have you ever doubted that you wanted to do music for your career? Have you always known? There was a point where I doubted it, like, if, like, I was going too far with this, but then I realized, like, there are all these other things that I want to do, but I can do them after. I'm trying my best to do them after. Like, let, let me just ride with this and see what happens. What do you guys do with Genius? Uh, they were fans of what we were doing, and they gave us a tour of the office. That was pretty much it. Who did you meet first out of LD? I met Sawyer first. And then I met, like, I met Henry and Henry that same day. A little bit later, technically. And then I met Itai, like, a couple weeks later. If y'all got any more questions in you. What city do you want to go on tour to that you haven't yet? I'm super hyped for all the ones we're hitting in August that we didn't go to. Also, hyped for LA. Um... My dumbest is going to say director for Pixar. This is character. There's directors for animated movies. I mean, there's still actors that have to be directed. So that wasn't that dumb. Of a, that wasn't a dumb question at all. Wizkid is fire. <laughs> Not a question, but a year and two days ago, I started listening to y'all. That shit crazy. That is so crazy, actually. I remember we comment like... I used to go on the laundry day Instagram and like comment on people's accounts and say like, we just released our new album, like in all caps so people would see it and I did it on your account. Show is funny as fuck. What book you said you were reading right now? That was so much for show. Um, it's the Jim Henson biography. Jim Henson created the Muppets. Maybe I wasn't there. 
could unrelease one song. <laughs> it's a funny question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have. I can't. I can't have those kind of regrets. They're out in the world. New Daniel Caesar album is so far. I was saying that earlier. It's so far. Are you wearing shoes? No. I'm wearing socks. Harry Styles, yes. I don't regret any songs. That's not saying like I I want to play them. <laughs> you're a beast. You're a beast as well. I appreciate you. Sock sock shoe shoe. A hundred percent. I've never gone sock shoe sock shoe. That's fucking weird. They're all white or all black. <laughs> I've never been a fancy socks person. Maybe I wasn't there. Cereal before milk. Hell yes. Gotta put in the cereal and then just let it all, the milk fall on it. Let everything kind of moisturize. <laughs> Favorite piece of clothing because that butterfly tea slaps. Appreciate you. I don't know. I, I have way too many shirts. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have the amount of thrifted t-shirts that I have. So it's hard. It's hard to pick. Where do you keep your horses? In the back. In the back. I gotta be honest, y'all. I still don't get that song. No hate to Lil Nas X, but like, I just don't understand how that song is so big. But it's another. That's a story for another time. Any artists you want to release new music? Great question. I miss. I miss Brockhampton. I miss, um, I miss Kendrick. Let's see who else, who else needs to drop. I'd be down for some, actually Drake just dropped, but that shit was trash. I need some good Drake. I need new Bieber. New Bieber, new Bieber, new Bieber. Um, okay, sorry. if with LD video is necessary that'd be fire I like that idea my yearbook quote will be let the cereal moisturize appreciate you dude sometimes you should like <laughs> I can't even read that dude sometimes you're you're act like a local I consider unstanding but you're spicy so I let it slide okay okay <laughs> Sometimes I listen to Drake and I almost start crying because it's so good. Like I, I put on my story last night. I listened to Headlines yesterday. knew I knew it word for word. Almost started crying. It's so fucking good. Y'all better stop asking about college. <laughs> Favorite One Direction song. That's a tough choice. Um, there was one I was listening. Oh. Uh, let me kiss you. Na 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 na. Big time rush fan. Huge big time rush fan. I met them and I almost shit my pants. That was a while ago though. What 1D member are you? <laughs> That's complicated. Someone asked me that once. Someone DM'd me once and was like, can you put every member of LD to a member of One Direction? All I could do was HP's Nile.
That's all I know. You a holy hump. Everybody's saying different shit, so what's the answer? What's the answer? Following anyone? <laughs> do you listen to my channel? Yeah, I do. Sora equals Zane. That's kind of facts. It's kind of facts. What's your Hogwarts house? Gryffindor, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. You're 200% Zane. Shit. Judas Harry, Sora is in HP is now E Ty is Louie, A W is Liam. Okay, how do we feel about that? I, I'm, I mean, I don't really know if I like I can't agree because I don't really feel like I'm educated enough to say yes or no. Like I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what their defining characteristics are. I can only tell you like, I can only really say like. Harry and Zane, like what they kind of are about. Zane, like I think of how he left the group. <laughs> Harry, I think about how he went solo and had a lot of great success and made an amazing album. Judas Louis, because he's quirky. All right. <laughs> so good. Favorite chairs, original ruffles. 100%. Banner on my wall. This says all my friends. Yeah, I'll be. <laughs> Favorite type of bread. I don't f a good baguette's a good baguette, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh my god. My future pet would be named the worst fucking turkey burger I've ever eaten. Another big move soon, all my friends' tour is really about to happen. I'm excited. That's all I can say. The, the live timer is going down. So, thank you guys for watching. This is a good lot. I enjoyed the questions. Hopefully, gave you guys some good answers. Um, I'll see y'all soon. Can we play towards CJJ? That's how, I'm, that's how we're going to leave it today. Thank you, Ashley, for leaving it on that comment. I'm going to pin it real quick. As we're saying goodbye. I will see y'all later. Peace. Love. Happiness. Great live. Very happy with this live. Keep your brains for the blacks. Stay fresh. Stay clean. Go see Toy Story 4. On my friend's tour this August. Buy tickets. Thank you for buying a juice for your... Um, keep your brains for the blacks.